of these in like a really, really long time. So spare me, please. Um, so today we're gonna do like a day in the life of me, I guess. So I already went to school. I did all that, you know, scholarly stuff. Started off on a rough start. Low key might have failed. I did fail my exam. And I'm feeling a little down, so I'm gonna go to the gym first. And then after that, I think I want to go to Walmart, and like some succulents, aka little plants, you know, to make myself feel better for failing an exam today. <laughs> That's not the point of this video. Anyways, and then, um, oh, I can also show you guys my night skincare routine or what I do on a normal night. Go to our first stop, aka the gym. And, uh, yeah. Really so ugly out today. Like... It's been raining for like ever, I feel like now at this point. But anyways, let's uh, get the show on the road. Here. Ooh, I'm not ready. I always sit like outside of the gym for like a good two minutes just to mentally prepare myself and regroup myself just to go inside and kill my muscles. But um, wow, this is so awkward. Yeah. Um. Most of all, um, what I usually do before I go in is just tell myself, it's gonna be a good workout. It's gonna be a good workout. It's gonna be a good workout. And um, it usually does turn out to be a good workout. Honestly, it just takes a little bit of like motivation just to get inside and then, you know, actually do the work. But after like I run my mile, I run a mile before everything, I don't know, I just really like cardio. I'll do that. And then after that, I'm just like, you know what? Run it. Like, let's do arms. Let's do abs. Let's do legs. Like, let's do everything else in between, you know? Just work everything out. I usually don't work everything. So we're here, and um, this is me logging out, and then I will see you guys after the gym. I just got out of the gym. I came to Smoothie King, because who doesn't like a smoothie after the gym? And now I'm about to go to Walmart, and I'm about to look at some plants. I'm not completely sure why people think it's okay to walk in the middle of the street i will hit you gladly and i will keep driving please stop getting in the middle of the street so i i made it to my local my uh my local walmart we out here um so yeah off to get these succulents guys So, just got done buying my plants. Um, not a great selection, but I feel a lot better now that I've decided to claim two um, children of mine now. So, uh, yeah, let me show you guys. Haha, -ha, my plants. I bought them. They're so cute. <laughs> um, they were actually really cheap. They were only like five bucks each, not together. I wish they were five bucks together, but they weren't. So, yeah. Um... This is, what is this called? Honestly, don't really know. I just love the way this looks and how I just I just can feel how it's gonna brighten up my space. And then this kind of looks like a little mini dragon tree, but um, I don't know. So when I get home, I'll check for you guys. Finally made it home. I put my plants up. So I got this one recently, which is today. And then I got this one and then I just have the rest of these. So, so far, my little corner, my little zen corner, you know what's going on. It looks really nice. Like, look at this. Just love it. Um, this plant low-key is kind of dying because it hasn't been really sunny in Atlanta for the last, like, week and a half or two, and my plant took the brunt of it, basically, and it's basically dying. Sad story. Anyways, yeah, so, so far it's coming to, you know, coming together very well. I want to add, like, a mirror, like, a, either a square or, like, a circular mirror behind this. It'd be super cute, but for now... This is what this looks like, and I really am pleased with it. Every day is a great day, even though I'm struggling today, but it's okay. <laughs> I can't tell if this is crooked, and honestly, this is going to be the weirdest video I've ever filmed thus far, due to the fact that I had to duct tape my phone to a mirror. If I could show y'all how f weird this looks, <laughs> y'all would think I'm crazy. So... I got back from the gym and I'm obviously like I already took a shower and everything and basically I'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine and that involves like 
shaving my face. Obviously, it's time to shave my face. And then I also am going to do a hair mask, cleanse my face, basically like anything a person should do at the end of the night. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I really hope this doesn't stop filming in the middle of the video because I cannot see anything. And I also can't see what percentage my battery is at. So let's pray. Cool. So now I'm just running like warm water. So I'm just gonna like rinse my face with warm water first. Cause you gotta open your pores up. That's hot. You gotta open your pores up, obviously. Okay, cool. So now I just did that. So first I'm gonna go ahead and I use the Botanics Albright with Hibiscus. I really like this. It's all natural and whatnot. And it just gets it just gets the job done. It's super cheap. It's like six, seven bucks. So I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to use this. I just pour that much. Rub it. I don't know if anyone knew this, but you're supposed to actually wash your face or like, you know, cleanse your face or exfoliate your, your face for at least a minute. My friend told me that. I've been doing that all the time now. I honestly don't count though. I just feel like whenever it feels like a minute, I'll take it off. This feels so nice. And I really don't know if this is still recording or not. Anyways. Okay, I got it all. It's so nice. My skin feels so clean. So now that that's done, Hold on, I just have to check if this is still recording. And that it is. Okay, so weird. I'm gonna go in and shave my face. I put like shaving cream on my finger and then I just, you know, get the areas that I'm gonna shave. And this usually, I usually do this in the morning, but I just feel like I'm gonna be really lazy in the morning, so I'd rather just do it now, at night. So when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to do all that. I just have to just get up and go and not wait three, four minutes to shave my face. And it's honestly become secondhand nature now that I just shave my face quite often, actually. I'm gonna do this off camera really quick, hold on. Okay, so I'm finished shaving. So now what's next is um, I go in with like a Azure Hemp and Collagen Nourishing Face Serum. And then I also use Copen Studios. Um, definitely recommend this. And definitely recommend this. And basically, I just go in. Give me one second. Two drops or three. Mix it in my fingers until it feels warm. Then I go here, 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 and then my neck. And I always go upwards on my neck because I don't know. Ashley Graham does it, and her neck is nice. And she said, never pull on your neck because you don't want your neck to hang when you're old. So I just always go upwards in a motion. It just feels so nice to put on serums because it just goes on so fast. And then I go in with my coping. And I use one, two, three, four. And then with this one, I actually mix it with my 10.0.6 Picture Perfect Day Daily Moisture SPF. This is super inexpensive, it's like seven bucks, six bucks. And put it on like so. Put it on like so, mix it, and then I just press it in. So I don't know if but you're supposed to actually wear sunscreen every day and always bring it down to your neck. Just always bring it down to your neck. Apparently that's the first place where aging shows. So bring it down to your neck. But um, you're supposed to actually wear sunscreen every day to protect your skin. And most people don't know that. I don't know why. Even like on a cloudy day, you're still supposed to wear sunscreen because it's just good for your skin. The sun is damaging. The sun does kill your skin. So I... You gotta wear the sunscreen to protect from the sun so your face don't scream. You feel me? And then I go in with my Province Beauty Retinol. And honestly, I can't say that. I can't say that word. I'm gonna be completely honest. I, can't, I don't even wanna try and pronounce it. But basically, it's a hydrating and refining eye serum. 
And most people would like put the drops, but what I do, I just, you know, boop, boop. I just dab it in. And you're not supposed to tug, you're supposed to dab it in. Cause your eye, your under eye is super sensitive. And who wants to look old when they're 20? Not me. So once we're done with that, I go in with my spa treatment. And this is Grease Lightning from Lush. It's tea tree and aloe. And I just put a little bit. And then I just have some problem areas right here and here and here. So I just dab it on there, dab it on there, here and here. And then I just let it sit. And it's that simple. Now the next thing I'm going to use is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. And honestly, people always say, your skin looks super glowy, super dewy. It's this, it's this. Basically, I just... And then I just let it dry. And honestly, my skin looks so radiant and so healthy that I just, you know, let it dry off. And boy, your skin look gonna look like a brand new Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I recently dyed my hair and now this goes into my nighttime routine, especially that I work out most days. You're supposed to wash your scalp every time you're done working. I really hope y'all are doing that. Um, so I use hair masks and then I use this hair um, perfector from Olaplex and this hair mask from Cream of Nature. I only, I honestly only bought this because it's cheap and inexpensive and I really needed a hair mask. This isn't necessarily a hair mask, but I basically, I put like that much, that much. Oh wow, my hair. Love to see it. And I just rub it into my hands and then I just work it in like so. And basically it's supposed to like help the proteins in my hair like not be so dry and whatnot because I did dye it jet black and yeah I just work it in and I leave it in for like five minutes it feels so nice afterwards my hair feels really soft and not super dull so so now that we're done with that so I have the um Olaplex on my hair so me being the weirdo that I am I'll use the cream in nature hair mask and I'll also work this in, but I work this into my scalp, if that makes sense. Like this is in my hair, the Olaplex is on my hair, but not necessarily like in my scalp. And I'll work this into my scalp because my scalp is actually kind of dry right now because I have to wash my hair every time I'm done going to the gym with shampoo and conditioner. So I'm stripping most of the oils. It makes my hair feel really nice afterwards and it doesn't feel super dry or dull since I dyed it, but I just know it's dry because my scalp is dry. I actually ran out of freaking storage. <laughs> Funny story. My phones need to make more storage. Anyway, so it's been like five, 10 minutes. So I'm about to rinse this out really quick and let me do that now. So now that that's done, now that that's done, that's actually the end of my nighttime skincare routine, my daily skincare routine. I didn't want to throw in a face mask or anything, just do extra stuff. So. That's basically about it. So that's what I do after I get home from the gym. And then now I'm gonna go pop a pizza in the oven. So follow me. <laughs> We're gonna click bake and it, I think it's like 400. So let's do 400 or is it 425? I don't know, who cares? So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna click start. DiGiorno's, yes, I am a broke ass bitch, but what can you do on a call it? What the fuck? We have DiGiorno's. We have DiGiorno's. Because I'm broke and I'm a college student. And this is all we eat. Speaking for myself. Honestly, something told me I should have filmed this with my front camera, but my back camera has better quality. But anyways, I am waiting to shove my pizza in the oven. But I've been actually getting a lot of questions from my friends. Hopefully they they watch this. Um, about how I've been so happy lately. And all I could really say is that I started working out. <laughs> That's one thing. Um, I also started meditating. Um, 
a lot of people think it's like a joke or whatever but no i've actually been meditating late at night not late at night like right before i go to sleep and then right before i go to sleep i also like to like literally right before i go to sleep i like to think about manifesting things i don't know about y'all but um i personally think manifesting things is real i've manifested a couple of things but i just feel like everyone should give it a try um i feel like i manifested my own happiness in a sense of um having a better peace of mind and not overthinking my future i do think it's a good thing to just bring yourself back down and regroup with yourself but honestly you can also trick your mind into being as happy as you can be so basically i've just been reading um daily quotes like i have some in my notes and they're basically like all inspiring and motivational and the more you do it the more your mind tends to believe it more at least to me it does so i don't know if this helps you if you want to do any of that but i definitely recommend it just a form of like self-care and you know mental health is a real thing and i do think that people should take care of their mental health more than anything but not more than anything like you know eat and stuff but just like i don't know just take care of yourself in a sense yeah i should that's about it that's all i can really think of about like how you can become more positive and happier in your day-to-day -day life. Um, I don't know if this helps anybody. It's helped me. So to each their own is how I like to say it. But yeah, I'm still waiting on this pizza to be shoved into the oven. So I'll be back. Oh, what beauty. You will be in my stomach. Cool. Anyways, back to the pizza. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Definitely can't do this with one hand. Cool. So, do as so. Cool. Awesome. So now, we're going to shove this inside the, the oven. Follow me. So, you're going to grab it with your clean hand. Your clean hand. Grab your pizza and shove it in the oven. Like so. We got the pizza. And now we transfer it over to the oven. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh great love that and like so and now we wait 25 minutes start i meant to say 24. so um i finished my pizza i was um editing the video that i'm current <laughs> ow that i'm currently filming now so yeah um basically all i really have left to show you guys that i do towards the end of my night is meditating so before i start meditating i will turn on a candle and then under here, I have my oil diffuser, which I will fill up with water. So then I have my aromatherapy, like eucalyptus essential oil, and I will throw in a couple drops. Oh, that's too many. Oh, well. so I'll do that. And then I'll just turn it on and then the, the essential oils will come out from the top and it'll smell like eucalyptus because I love eucalyptus anything, honestly. Now that everything's dimmed down, I cut off all music, there's no sounds, I'm really just, you know, unwinding down after a long day. I'm gonna prop you guys up. Basically, this is on the floor by the way, you guys can't see anything, but I will literally sit here, crisscross, and then I usually put my hands like this, not, not literally like this, but my fingers like this, and then I'll bring them down, and then I'll close my eyes. And then I'll just breathe. So I just got done meditating. I honestly don't know how long it was. I put a time lapse on. Um, I don't know how fast that thing goes, but I feel really calm and my mind feels clear to ease your day at the end of the day. Have a better night's sleep in a sense and feel more calm and at ease when you go to bed. I definitely do recommend meditating. Um, there are tutorials on YouTube on how to meditate and everyone meditates differently, I wanna say, but I feel like everyone gets the same end result in a sense of just feeling refreshed, having a clear head space and um, being able to, you know, take on tomorrow and whatnot, but yeah. Honestly, it's the only thing that's been keeping me sane lately, so definitely recommend it. And now I'm about to go to bed.
and I will wake up tomorrow at 7 in the morning. So I will catch y'all on the flip side. Thanks for watching. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment if you want me to do anything else. Bye!